how to integrate Shopify with QuickBooks. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can link or integrate the QuickBooks application or platform with your Shopify store. It is very simple and easy. The first method you can go ahead and go and log in or sign up for the QuickBooks uh, platform or you can go simply to your Shopify store search bar right here and you can type QuickBook right here quick you can type QuickBook and you will see right here we have this. All you have to do is you click on uh, see the app on Shopify store and as you can see right now we have the official app which has a high rating and a free plan available to use. I will click on it and then it will be guided to the installation. I click on install and here it will be demanding the permission to be installed on our store. I will click on simply on install and I will be guided to the QuickBook right here platform to put the uh, sign up process or the sign in process if I have already an account. If you are a QuickBook online customer you can connect it directly to QuickBooks. If you don't have a QuickBook account you can start with a free trial. Right here I'm going to start with a free trial. I will go to the global website and right here I am going to get my free 3 day st trial startup. Uh, I am going to show you a step by step how you can go ahead and select or create your account for QuickBooks. Here we have to put the email address, the first name right here and the last name. Let's go with this. A little disclaimer guys, everything created in this video such as email addresses, phone numbers and addresses are created for the sake of the video. They are not used for any personal uses. So you have to go ahead and put uh, your true information and you will be good to go. Now I'm going to put my phone number and then I will receive a SMS uh, having the code that I will put to verify my phone number. When you have your phone number checked, you will be guided to this page which will provide, you have to provide some information for a QuickBooks Institute or and tweet so you will be welcome to their platform and you can use whatever you have. Here we have the welcome message. All you have to do is to click on next. What's your business name? I am going to put this. This is a standard name on my computer. The industry, you have to choose one of the industries right here. For example, financial, service, insurance, beauty, personal. I'm going with this, for example, personal, since I am going to uh, sell some uh, goods or sell some fashion ideas here what kind of business is, is it here we have a sole trader you can put a company for my case I'm going to put a company for example or a sole trader it's up to you you click on next then we have here what apps do you use for your business I'm going to select Shopify Next, here, what do you want to do in QuickBooks? Here, I am going to select all of these, send invoices and track them, track receipts and expenses, manage inventory, track my VAT, track my bills and track my sales. Click on next. And here we have, what should we do first? You can track the receipts or and expenses or you can set up the invoices to get paid. I am going to select for example this for uh, the purpose of clicking on next only. This is the invoice. Now you can set up your invoice or you can skip it for later. You can here bring all the income that expenses in one place. This is the base of the platform. You can here uh, link the bank account but I am going to skip it for now. How do you track your receipts today? I am going to skip it also, but you have uh, four choices. Now uh, here we have also an app on both Android phones and uh, iPhones. You can download it and you will be tracking every move that it is uh, on the QuickBooks platform or your Shopify. Now let's go start it and this is the Intuit QuickBooks platform. Right here we have uh, finished the setup. Now we can go ahead and link the uh, QuickBooks to our Shopify store. I will go to this connect right here window. I am going to connect to QuickBooks. I will log in 
to my QuickBooks. So I will let this app connect with my Shopify store. I will wait for here for the preparation. I am going to let it start slowly and then we can go back to our Shopify store. Right here we have this, uh, connecting Shopify to a connector by Intuit to Jack Smith. I am going to click on connect and it will be verifying the QuickBook online information. And all I have to do is to be patient until the verification will be over and everything will be okay. And then we can say that everything is integrated in our Shopify store from QuickBooks. Now we have everything set up. Right here we have the uh, options that we can synchronize the uh, information between Shopify to QuickBooks. We have the account time zone, the integration starting date, uh, the send me a sync report email daily when uh, or you can choose one of these three options. You can send it daily only when there is a sync error. Don't send me a sync report. It is up to you. You can turn the integration on right here. You can put it right here. And here you can choose one of the three choices. You can, when an order is created in Shopify, create a sale in QuickBooks Online. This I have to choose it. You can retrieve orders from Shopify right here, retrieve orders. You can make the authorized one, the paid one, the abandoned one, and it is up to you. You can retrieve the orders from fulfillment status, retrieve orders from sources. You can uh, also create sales as a sale invoice or sales received it is up to you. And also we have the map tax codes. Uh, we have the Shopify product. You can use the SKU or the name. You can create new items in QuickBooks online. You can, you can use the income account. This is up to you. You can put whatever you have, billable expenses, income. The use expense income here, you can put whatever you have. I'm going to choose uh, randomly right here some uh, some uh, sh choices. I'm going to put these, for example, all you have to do is you can put, for example, the inventory. You can create credit notes in QuickBooks and it is up to you. When you finish this first step of the uh, when an order is created in Shopify, create a sale in QuickBooks Online, you click on save. Here you can go and proceed to the next step, which is right here. When a payout is paid by Shopify, create a deposit. You can put, uh, go ahead and uh, enable this choice. You can put the bank information account right here. Also, we can put the when a product is created in Shopify, create a new item in QuickBook Online. You can put the name, the SKU and whatever you have. When you finish all these steps, you click simply on save and you will be good to go. Right here we have the uh, everything synchronized. I will go right here to my Shopify store and then I will search for QuickBooks. I will see the app. I will go ahead to open it and you will be guided right here to the platform between Shopify and QuickBook. You can configure it wherever or whenever you want. It is simple. You can also search on it for the uh, the uh, app store right here or the apps right here and you will be good to go. You can also put the connection. You can put the data. It is up to you to put whatever you want. As you can see right here, we have integrated and connected the Shopify to our QuickBooks. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the video and see you on the next one.